mga kabajetarian, welcome back to my channel. We have super amazing vlog episode today. So, hope you can join me because we are going to style my luxury bags from drag to fab. Hi mga kabajetarian, Ron Ramiro here is Looking Budgetarian Fashionista. I vlog about fashion, shopping, luxury bags and accessories, travel and lifestyle. So if any of these interests you, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you can get daily updates coming from me. So as you can see here at my bag, so I have three bags I have here. So um, let me introduce them to you one at a time. So firstly, of course, I have my um, YSL monogram clutch bag. Um, I've already done a separate bag review for this one. So if you haven't watched that, I'm going to link it up here. Post it on the description box. So this is bag number one. And of course, we have bag number two, our product clutch bag there. So also, again, did a separate review. If you want to check them out, you can click here and check the description box. And product num oh, bag number three, rather, is this vintage um, Fendi pochette bag there. So this one, I haven't done a separate review, but maybe in the future. Alright, so why did I chose these three amazing luxury bags that, um, that we are going to style today? It is because um, these three bags, so if you have seen, you know, um, the two vlogs that I did for this one, I, I think I've mentioned there that unfortunately with the styles of this bag, because both of these are clutches, um, I would tend to pick other bags. Like for example, if I would be going out, doing some errands, going shopping, I would be choosing other bags. And um, we would only be carrying this, like for example, like, you know, a dinner event or a small party. Um, it's like more of a seasonal thing and as much as possible um, these bags that I have here these three um, I wanted to be able to we call it ROI or return of investment plus I would want to be able to breathe um, new life into them um, be able to because I feel that they're a little bit mad at oh. me because you know I they're just stored inside their boxes so I feel that they would want me to use them as much as I can that's why we are doing this um, styling tips so that um, we would be able to transform these bags that I really seldom use and be able to use them as much as I can so currently mga budgetarian I have some um, straps here that we are going to use so we can restyle these amazing bags from drab to fab so number one we have this um, Fendi strap here um, I believe I've also used this one on the YSL monogram clutch um, review but I'm going to do it again here there so this is a Fendi strap then this one I just purchased locally um, at Shopee I believe internationally you could purchase it from any like let's say Amazon eBay or even Samorga so we have my shoal, uh, sorry, we have my silver um, luxurious chain strap. So this one, the gold version of this one haven't arrived yet. So that's why we are just going to use this one for the meantime. So this is a little bit longer compared to the Fendi strap. Then the fourth one we have again purchased from our online shopping site Shopee. So this one, this is a steel shade if you could hear it on the video. So it's a thick finish, um, short chain strap and I love um, the closure of this one. So I'm not sure. So there, is it focusing? There, so it could fit any bag um, attachment. And last but not the least would be this acrylic um, rose gold finish chain strap. So the closure of this one actually has two. So for example, the gearing of your bags are a little bit small. So it has this lobster clasp. Then if it's a little bit bigger, there is um, a ring here. So that is also another closure. So let me just show you how there. 
So this one is just made of acrylic. I haven't bought yet um, the actual, you know, material like this one. And also, I've used this one on the uh, Prada, you know, blog here. I also tried that one. So we are going to try it again on the other bags that we have. Yay! So are you ready, guys? So let us begin. So what should we start? Actually, um, I feel I would like to start with my YSL monogram clutch. Um, during that vlog, I've styled it with um, two styles. This one, the Fendi strap. So this um, YSL monogram clutch, just to give you a brief background on this one, um, it only has one D-ring attachment where you can you know, attach your shoulder strap, which is here on the side. And um, the function of this one, it comes with um, for the wrist neck, but I didn't bring that out because we are not going to use it. So um, what I'm going to do here, the simple magic I'm going to do is, so we are going to attach one, stra uh, one clasp here on the D-ring and one would be on the gold zipper of Fendi because as you could see, it has a hole so all you just need to do is like what I've mentioned with that vlog is you just need to keep it open so that would they would be on opposite side so I would not be attaching it using this one because the lobster class of this one is a little bit big but just to show you again so what I'm doing is I'm just attaching it to one of the um, I'm just attaching it to there it's not attaching there so I'm just attaching it to one shoulder strap and the way that you could carry it up it would just be here on your on one shoulder and it would fall like this one. so I'm going to put here you know mod shots insert it here so there so that's style number one um for this style to be honest some um, I'm not a really a huge fan. What do you think, guys? Please comment below what you think for this attaching this. Um, we call this one. This is the uh, the style of this strap is a guitar strap. But for Fendi, I forgot um, the name of this strap. Is it? No, it's not. By the way. So anyway, um, so I'm just removing the Fendi strap. So let me try again the silver strap and show to you guys how I could transform this very basic clutch bag and transform it into a shoulder bag. So again, one lobster clasp would be attached to the D-ring and the next one. So let's just imagine that this is um, the color is yellow gold because that is still coming from the mail. So there, yay! So what do you think guys? So as you would notice, now it's easily transformed from just a simple clutch bag to shoulder strap there. So you would notice. Now, again, I'm going to maybe attach some mod shots here, but it would be like that, right? So now it would be very, very easy for me to, let me just stand up so I could show you guys. Let me move this back here. So there, right? So it would fall like that one. What do you think guys? Right? It looks good. So I would like to, this is style number two. Let me just try to check if this would look good and if it would fit. Alright? So I'm attaching one to the lobster class. Ooh, it looks nice. The other one to the other end of the lobster. Oh wow! Wow, oh my god. Wow, this is nice, right? So now, um, your simple clutch bag, so from simple clutch bag to shoulder strap, now it comes with the... Oh my god, I love it, you guys. Now it comes with a top handle. Oh my god, wow. Oh my god, OMG. I really love this, guys. So this style, um, because this chain didn't arrive um, before. So let me sit down. So this chain didn't arrive during the time that I filmed the styling of this YSL monogram clutch. So this is the first time that I'm seeing. What do you think? OMG, I really love it. Oh my God, it looks so good. 
Plus, I feel the color of the the gold sheen is not too far from the sil uh, the gold the yellow gold hardware of YSL. So I think I really really love this style, right? What do you think? Okay, let's do another one. And now let's try to check um the old gold hardware. So now I am using this chunky gold um chain strap. So this is again the first time that I would be seeing this style. And there, oh my god, so I'm not attaching the um, the top handle. I'm going to do that as style number five, I think. So this is how it looks like now. So you could carry it as you know a shoulder strap. Let me just stand up again, guys. I'm going to insert more mount shots. Then, you can wear it like this one. I love it also like this, guys. So, although, yes, um, it's just, you know, open. But carrying it like this, it's very close to your body. And um, I feel that, you know, it's very secure. Um, there would be, like, a slim chance for you to to get you know robbed or anything like that but yes i like this style so much what do you think comment down below so this is what style number four right one two yeah style number four okay so for style number five for the ysl monorail oh my god I, guys i'm having so much fun doing this because honestly like you know um because the reason why we're doing this is i wanted to um be able to transform my bags and be able to use them as much and with this very simple magic tricks that we are doing i'm able to do so wow oh my god yay so this is style number five guys what do you think oh my god i love it um i love this um chunky chain strap because this is what's on trend currently the chunky chain in this one guys i have attached the top handle so again it would fall like this oh my god guys i'm so loving it right so maybe you could put it at the back so it would show the monogram or the logo of ysl so this is how it would look like I will try to attach you know more videos right guys I love it now it looks very edgy there OMG what do you think that that is style number five there so when carrying it as a handbag so this is how it would look like and the chain the chunky chain would just be there OMG honestly I really really love this one so so much i love it yay i love it guys all right so that is for the ysl monogram clutch i got me really really excited so now let's do bag number two which is my Fen vintage fendi pochette bag so i got this one from um, a reseller on instagram and i really really love this good thing um i got this from her although yes um you could see signs of you know wear and tear but you can still use it um and pochette are so it's such you know on trend right now so this one it actually comes with its own show um leather shoulder strap but um the reason why i wanted to change or not use this one because as you could see um it's already damaged so it's already oh. splitting because again i'm not really sure like how old this vintage bag is so you would notice that it's really beaten up so we are not going to use the leather shoulder strap um the print is it the zuka i believe what we call this one is the zuka print um so you, it comes of course with the uh, buckles on each side engraved with Fendi so good thing it has those buckles and those are what we are going to use for us to be able to attach our shoulder strap okay so maybe let's start first um, let's use the Fendi strap because that is pretty obvious let's use it for last 
So let's use first the one that would be maybe sticking out would be the silver strap or silver chain. Or let's check first if it would work. So let's try. So I'm attaching it actually not on the buckle itself because the lobster class are a little bit small. So I am attaching it to the leather part. And I feel that it's actually working. Yes, it is. So there. So from from this one, this one actually it's just, you know, if you're going to wear it, it would just be right underneath your arm. So this one now you could wear it as a shoulder strap. So there. So that's style number one. So let me stand up for you guys. So this is how it would look like. So you could wear as a crossbody, wearing it as a shoulder bag. So again guys, I Oh wait, since the color of the hardware of this is silver, so I feel the silver, do you think silver hardware is okay guys? What do you think? So there, that is style number one for the silver strap. So let me remove it. So this one, I'm excited. So this one, like what I mentioned at the start of the video, is it has two closures. So it's either the lobster glass if the D-ring is small and then you could use this ring because it's also a, it has a closure and this one I feel I would be able to attach to the buckles see without any problem okay there so just to show you how I've attached it so this is the buckle of Fendi pochette and I've used the ring there because it's large it has large opening so what do you think guys so this is style number two let me attach the top handle so again the top handle that we are using this is a shorter um, chain chain strap so I'm attaching it here there so now it looks brand new, right guys? What do you think? Oh my god, I love it. What do you think guys? So again, for this one, um, this chunky chain is definitely um, shorter than this one. But I love the length of this one because if you're going to do shoulder strap, um, it would fall, you know, very nicely to your body. Oh my god, wow. I love this you guys oh my god it gives it again that edge that I'm always looking for whenever I'm you know carrying and purchasing a luxury bag right so is it focusing guys there to the glow shop right and then if for example if you're going to carry it as a pochette style that's how it would look like then the top handle here on the side then if you're going to carry it as a I love it as a handbag there you could even do it like this for some at the crook of your arm what do you think guys yay I feel because um, this Fendi pochette is the Fendi version of the Louis Vuitton pochette so if you have um, a Louis Vuitton pochette, I feel that you would be able to style it this way as well with a chunky chain with a top handle. So this is style number two. Yay! Exciting guys, right? Alright, that's style number two. Now let's move on to the style number three. So this is the Fendi strap. So this one, I purchased this separately so it didn't came with this one. So um, actually before, I was already able to use it. So the love surf class, um, this one. So let, let me focus it for you. This love surf class would not fit the buckle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another magic. Is I'm going to use this one, the the circle thingy. So let me remove that one. And use it to attach it here again. There. So now it's attached. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the lobster class now to this ring over here. So this is what? Style number three. 
There, yay! Now, so it looks good, right? So this is a um, a Fendi on Fendi strap, Fendi strap on Fendi bag. So this is how it would look like, you guys. So this is style number three. What do you guys think? It looks very similar now to the Louis Vuitton multi pochette. Don't you think, right? I love it. And then I feel it's upgraded because with the Louis Vuitton um, multi pochette, the strap or the chain strap is, you know, the dainty feminine one. So this one is the chunky edgy style. There. So it's either you could um, use this one as a shoulder strap. So let me carry it as a shoulder bag so there and how it would look like or the other way around there to give it that edge what do you guys think was i able to transform this simple pochette bag with the damaged strap right so with this i feel again i would be able to use it more and more especially this type of material the zuka bag plus it being a um, vintage bag i feel that i would not baby it you know compared to carrying my cat skin bags like the ysl monogram clutch and the product definitely this one I would use this one every time I would be going out. Yay, super exciting! Okay, so that's two of, out of three. And out of the two of those bags, again, I was able to renew, you know, give life to the YSL monogram clutch in my vintage Fendi pochette bag. Now let's move on to bag number three, which is the product clutch bag. So again, um, with the vlog that I did a couple of um, days back with this one, um, I've mentioned to you guys that unfortunately, it didn't came with any B-ring for you to be able to attach the shoulder strap, but I was able to show you some tricks where you could attach um, your shoulder strap because the zipper, just like the YSL monogram, has holes in them. So I'm glad that both, you know, Prada and um, YSL has that very um, huge hole on their zippers. I believe sometimes they attach, you know, leather um, straps here, there. So that's where we are going to attach our new um, shoulder strap. So unfortunately, of course, let me just check. I feel that the Fendi would clash with the style, right? So, I'm not going to attach plus the lobster class of Fendi is way big um, for the zipper attachment. So, now we are going to use first number one would be this. So, let's try the silver. So, again, guys, this is a silver chain link. Let's just imagine that it's in gold because um, currently the hardware of Prada is also in gold. There. So let me attach because um, I am now a fan of top handle on the shoulder. So let me attach this one. I'm attaching it here. Go. Oh, okay. Wow. So I've never done this with um, my styling tip when I did the vlog for this product um, clutch bag. So this is how it would look like. Let me just stand up for you. So there, as a crossbody bag, so it would look like this. I love, again, this chain. I feel this chain is very, very versatile. If we are going to look at it very, very closely, the, you know, gold tone is almost similar to the gold tone of Prada there. And it's giving it, you know, this chain actually gives it that modern touch that the luxury bags, um, have right now like for example with Virgil Abloh's um, design bags for Louis Vuitton right so this is how you're going to carry it as a shoulder bag as a <clears throat> another uh, crossbody bag then shoulder bag then as a handbag so this is style number one handbag so crook up your arm so remember um, before we were not carrying this bag as much because it is just a 
um, shoulder bag now. Look guys, OMG, I love it with the top handle. It looks very, very edgy. Now I'll be attaching is this very beautiful chunky chain that again I got from Shopee. Um, for the strap guys, I will try to, for you know, my um, subscribers here in the Philippines, if you are interested of purchasing any of these straps because in these three I got from Shopee. I'm going to find the link and put it on the description box just in case you are interested because honestly I feel the styles or the styling tips that I'm giving is you know really really nice and really really good and would definitely transform the bags that you are not using to bags that you would be using a lot. So now I'm attaching this. So this is what style number two. Yay! So let me attach now this one, the top handle. I love this one. There! Yay! So as a top handle, it would look like this. Right? So let me stand up for you. So how it's on there. So actually, because this, um, I love, I really love the length. Um, this chunky chain comes in different length, but I, good thing I chose this one. I believe it's just one. I'm not really sure. 40 centimeters because um this length i love it because you know it falls nicely onto my body whenever i'm carrying it as a crossbody bag so this is how it would look like um without the top handle it would look like this guys so for example you only have one strap so it would look like this with the top handle it would look like that one or you could just put it at the back for the meantime what do you guys think it looks really nice then carrying it as a shoulder bag it would look like this so again guys if i if i haven't mentioned i stand at five six there then if you wanted to carry it as a handbag i really love guys carrying it as a handbag because you know um, I love the chain. I think the chain attachment, I am so in love with them because it is giving it, you know, that edgy look that I really, really am, you know, looking for, for my bags, for my wardrobe, because that's how I style my stuff. I love it. And you could still carry it as a clutch, right? Because this one, it comes with this and you could carry it like this. Oh my god, it's so fashion forward, you guys. Alright, so what do you think, right? It looks really nice. I love this attachment for our Prada bag. Definitely, it's an up from the styling that we did with the previous vlog that I did for this Prada bag. So using um, this gold you know, chain attachment, definitely we were able to transform this Prada clutch bag from drab to fab. Alright, so how did you like our styling tips for today? So hopefully guys, you enjoyed um, some of the tips that um, I was able to share to you guys. So you will, you may not be able to have the exact uh, exact same luxury bags that I showed you, like the YSL product clutch in the Fendi Pochette. But um, the reason why we did this because I wanted to share to you guys that, you know, with just a little bit of creativity and of course, a little bit of, you know, new accessories, we would be able to definitely transform our luxury bags that we are no longer using from drab to fab, right? And be able to maximize our um, the money that we've spent purchasing these bags. So definitely, honestly, for me, I'm really, really happy with this vlog episode because um, this is an impromptu styling that I did. I didn't pra practice this beforehand. So um, doing it together with you on video, I was able to see that um, all of these hundred percent, you know, I would be able to use them more and more compared to like before this vlog. I'm already thinking that I may, you know, um, sell them on my Instagram account because they're just, you know, sitting in my storage. So definitely now, uh, they are now a forever bag. I would not be selling them and would be using them as much as I can. 
Alright mga kabadgetarian, so before we end our vlog episode, let's do comment of the day. So I would like to say thank you to Carly Terrio. So Carl, super, super, super thank you for the super wonderful comment that you gave me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mga kabadgetarian, I would like to invite you to join our growing family here. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm inviting you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Romerify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Vegetarian, again, super, super thank you for staying with me on this vlog episode. Um, please do always stay safe and healthy. Um, there's vaccine already. If you can get it, please do get it. Um, I would see you on our next vlog episode. Bye!